Well, it is time, ladies and gentlemen. It is time to visit Universal Studios Florida for the holiday season. This is the kickoff weekend for the holidays here at Universal Orlando Resort. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the world of Micah. Abby and I are here at Universal Orlando Resort to kick off the holidays. We're going to get some food, see what's going on. You're going to be our guest now. Let's take a closer look. They are taking in the Simpsons RV for the evening. I can see Bart They're on the other side. Oh, here he comes. There he is. Good old Bart Simpson. They got to get ready for the, the parade, the Macy's Holiday Parade. It's going to be kicking off here very soon. This is my favorite time of year in the theme parks because you get all the, the decorations and even the flowers change. And we decided to make this an evening visit because I feel like during the holidays, the best time to see all the decorations are at night. Kind of like during Halloween, you want to wait till nightfall. Everything just kind of pops at night. And we decided to stand right where the parade steps off for tonight, right across from the VIP experience reserve spot. Right here is where the parade will be stepping off. Not bad. stepped off oh man this is wonderful look at this oh wow a sea of confetti <laughs> it's snowing confetti <laughs> oh that's great <laughs> telling us everything we're expected to see on the parade today. Shrek, I saw Despicable Me, Madagascar. I love it. And of course, the featuring Macy's, there is Macy's included with this. Snowman are here. I love it. Hello, Mr. Snowman. Yeah, they're awesome. See, this is what they're talking about featuring Macy's. You got some Macy's balloons. It's wonderful. I remember last year we walked through the sound stage they had them in. It's great to see these things outside again. Things are just a little normal now. I love it. There's so many bananas in that tree. Look at that. <laughs> love the minions. And I like the little bear. He's in a stocking that's minion inspired too. And here comes Gru and the girls. And a few minions are on this float as well. And how could I forget this guy? The giant minion balloon. I love it. This float's hilarious, man. Look at that. Goes down the little lift and rockets off. Taking the Christmas tree with him. <laughs> this guy. Making snow angels down here. And Operation Find Santa is a go with the gang from Madagascar here. And King Julian and friends are coming in right now. Yeah, there he is, King Julian. That's awesome. Look, he gave himself a pineapple this year for Christmas. See? To Julian from Julian. What a nice guy. And here's the rest of the gang from Madagascar. Oh, hi. All right, up next, I think we're going to have some friends from Shrek. Yeah. We've got the three little pigs here. They built a, <laughs> a gingerbread house. We've got the three blind mice right here. And hey, there's donkeys. know what donkey's child's name is the shrek villagers are out oh and 
with some boots is here. With some Christmas attire on. Look at that. Love it. And there's Shrek, Fiona, and their baby. Oh! Donkey's, donkey's wife's right there. CJ. CJ the L. Fun fact for you. I think we're getting ready to see Santa Claus very soon. I can't believe he's already here. Haven't even had Thanksgiving yet. Santa's in Central Florida. We have a little drummer nutcracker right here. Some more of the, the toys from the North Pole. Look at the giant nutcracker balloon pulling in. This is great. Some of Santa's elves here. All right. Happy holidays. All right. And I'm starting to see reindeer, which only means one thing. Could it be? Is it? Oh my gosh. Getting all in the fields right now. May your holidays be filled with holiday cheer. Oh man, it's Santa. Look at that. He's here. Hello, Santa. Oh, that's wonderful. I wonder if my name's on that list. I hope it's on that list. I've been good this year. saw it. The 2021 Universal Orlando Holiday Parade featuring Macy's. That's the very end of the parade from this part. From this spot. And the reason we chose to, to come here is because now that it's finished, we're going to head back over and grab some food. We're going to do the holiday leftover sandwich here at the Press Sandwiches. Cranberry bread filled with turkey and brie cheese. And then we're going to do the chocolate press s'mores sandwich as a dessert. They've got all kinds of different options here. And they have a uh, cookies and milk. Look at that chocolate covered cookie cup served with your choice of flavored straw. So that's what's in here. You put it in there, it's a cookie inside the cup, and there's a flavoring in the straw that you drink out of. We're not gonna do that, but we're gonna get one of the s'mores and the pressed sandwiches here of the holiday leftovers. All right, it's time to feast. Let's <laughs> let's try these. Here, I'm just gonna go ahead and take that from you there, Abby. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is it, man. The pressed sandwich. I know the reason we got this is because Abby's favorite meal is Thanksgiving. Like, yep. basically all of Thanksgiving food, I am a big fan of green bean casserole, sweet potato, mashed potatoes, turkey. Pressed sandwiches. Pressed sandwiches. This even have like even comes with gravy. So. Oh wow. Yeah. Let's let's give it a try. And for dessert, is the s'more. Both sandwiches were fantastic. Highly recommend them. The s'mores, a little dry, but it was really really good. It was like a chocolate bread. Highly recommend it. If you want a sandwich, that's the sandwich to get, man. The pressed leftovers, holiday leftovers, and the s'mores. I want to try the peanut butter fluff one they have, so I got something else to look forward to. But let's continue with the evening. And see, we just had a dinner, and there's Santa. So the parade is finished. So now, as soon as he passes, we have full range of all of New York. Perfect timing. See, this is why we came later in the evening. Would you look at these lights as we're walking onto Delancey Street? This is wonderful. I love this. It's Christmas. Christmas. 
Santa lit that. That's what he does. If you guys want to see that, come over to this area by the mummy. And when the parade gets here with Santa Claus, he lights the tree every single night. Now, the reason we didn't stand over there is because we had an agenda to take care of with dinner and everything because the park does close at 7 o'clock. So we have a little less than half an hour left with our evening. We like to cut things a little close sometimes. It's more of an adventure that way. But nonetheless, if you guys want to see him light that, just get over in this area. I recommend getting here maybe an hour or two early because people start camping out very, very early to see this thing. And that's one of my favorite things here at Universal. Another one of my favorite things they do for the holidays is the tribute store. All kinds of goodies here inside this store. Now, I'm going to give a thorough tour of this thing, but we're going to do a quick walkthrough right now. Yeah, this thing has completely changed. It's Halloween Horror Nights, which was not more than a few weeks ago. Now, right up here, this train that's going around in the front of this train is actually a DeLorean from Back to the Future. It's a little difficult to see, but as it comes around, I'll see if we can see it from this angle right here. You're going to have to wait until it gets around the corner. There is a DeLorean time machine right in the front. All right, let's see if we can catch it as it's going around. Look to the very, very bottom of the track. And oh, I can see it. Oh, man, it was so quick. It is so quick. Oh, I can kind of see it up there a little bit. Yep, DeLorean time machine up there. It's pretty cool. Anybody can tell me what this boat is from. You get like a 5 billion points and that. I'll just go ahead and tell you. That's E.T. and his spaceship going back home. And that's the Orca from Jaws. Pretty cool Easter eggs here. And I didn't know Santa made DeLoreans, did you? Also, I didn't know Santa was involved with Sarah's kitty that looks strikingly like the kitty I saw at Halloween Horror Nights a couple of years ago. Hmm. Yeah, there's too many Easter eggs in here like that HHN bear for me to cover in this episode. So I'm going to have to do a whole separate episode here inside this wonderful, wonderful tribute store. You guys are going to get to tag along. Do not worry. We're going to be back and we're going to find everything that you need to know here inside this store. Yeah, there's something about looking down at the New York area here at Universal during the holidays. It makes you feel like I'm in actual New York, just maybe about, <laughs> I don't know, 50 degrees warmer. Take a look at this tree here. They've got in the Born Stuntacular gift shop right next to the horror makeup show. A little tribute to different monsters, including the, the Frankenstein monster here. Ooh, look. It's like the Wolfman's hand right here. This is pretty, <laughs> pretty awesome. Looks like something we would have in our house. See what's inside the San Francisco Candy Factory, their tree this year. Look at this, all kinds of good treats, donuts. Pretty much everything you can get inside the store is featured on this tree. That's awesome. Look at these, I love that. Play little ornaments. Passing by the King's Cross and the London, England area next to Diagon Alley. This is my favorite time of year to walk through here. I just love seeing all the lights and everything, hearing the Christmas music. We're heading over to the MIB gear shop to see what kind of tree they have this year. <laughs> I feel like they outdo themselves every year. Look at this. A little crashed UFO on top. Oh man. It's got a little, almost like mid-century modern-esque type things in it. And then some of these little flowers look like they're from a different planet or something. It even looks like there's some planets on this tree. That's awesome. I love it. Now this is all a part of the holiday tree hunt. I'm not going to be doing the holiday tree hunt this year, but I'm basically showing you guys majority of the trees on this video. Going to head inside the SpongeBob store pants. They have a special tree in here too. Well, this is a very SpongeBob-esque tree. I like that. They have SpongeBob's house on this tree. <laughs> SpongeBob's house is also in this store, but I like this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And check this out. The cinematic experience, the light show at the end of the day is still happening. But look at the icicles through here. Oh, it's awesome, right? I love this. Man, that's 
is so cool. What a fun evening, you guys. This was such a super fun evening. I'm glad everybody got to join us as we visited Universal for the holidays, the opening weekend of the holidays. It's gonna be a good holiday season. It's gonna be a good one. Well, you guys, we came, we saw, we took care of business here today at Universal Orlando Resort. This will not be our last visit for the holiday season. But it is time for us to head on out of here. The park is officially closing, which means it's time to say goodbye. If you enjoyed this episode, please click the thumbs up button. The next time you're here at Universal Studios, tell them World of Mike has sent you. I will be back for more holiday fun during this season. We have plenty of time. It is way early in the season to be decking the halls, but we're doing it. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to future episodes here and at Islands of Adventure and other theme parks in the surrounding Orlando area. You guys are always going to get the tag along, but it is time to say goodbye. I will see you on the next episode. Until then, stay weird. Happy holidays. Goodbye.